my channel so today is actually my very first video i'm so excited i'm going to teach you a tutorial now to do this afro wig that i'm rocking right now it's a 19 inch afro wig so i'm going to teach you starting from the closure how to ventilate the closure and sewing the back it's actually an illusion closure it's a t closure it's not four by four so i'm going to teach you the process of what to do all that and before we get into the tutorial please kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that next time when i post a video you will be notified so let's get into the tutorial so firstly these are the things that you will need to make this wig and this is actually not real human hair it's synthetic hair it lasts according to how you treat it So I've already ventilated one line on the Swiss list before sewing it to the cap as you can see on that right side corner so that it will be my guide when I'm sewing I will know where to stop when I'm sewing on my Swiss list and I'm sewing it like an upside down letter T I'm sewing it like an upside down letter T when you are done it will look like a 5x5 five five, but right now I'm sewing it like an upside down T it will be like an illusion closure when I'm done you will think that it is a 5x5 five five closure and so using thread not wool so that it will lay flat when you sew using thread it will lay flat when you are done sewing tie your thread and then cut it with the scissors cut off the excess lace that you don't need cut it off both sides you have to cut it off and after cutting the lace turn the wig cap to cut the wig cap underneath the lace that we don't need we have to cut it off and turn back the wig cap after you done turn it back and start ventilating so right here I'm cutting off the weft I'm cutting off the weft and picking little hairs out and then I'll be holding my hair like this like so when I'm ventilating and I'm picking two strands of hair keeping a hole two strands of hair keeping a hole because I want it to look natural and I'm doing these five lines at the front starting from my right to my left side I'm doing five lines picking two strands of hair and skipping a hole So I tried to zoom it in for you guys to see how I ventilate. I'm picking two strands of hair and skipping all. I think I will do another video showing you how to use a ventilating needle. So right now this is what I'm going to show you how I ventilate. I just pick two strands of hair and pass it through the wall and twist and pass it through my loop. That's how I tie it. So I will do another video showing you how to ventilate but as you can see this is how I ventilate my closures. And after doing five lines, I'm going to do 12 lines going upwards, 12 lines going upwards. And I have marked where I want my parting to end. So I'm going to do these 12 lines going upside, still picking two strands of fear and leaving a hole, two strands of fear and skipping a hole until where I want my parting to end. That's where I marked, continue ventilating like that, picking two strands of fear and skipping a hole. Do not pick more hairs, especially when you're doing the front, because you want it to look more natural. If you pick a lot of hair, it won't look that good. So, 
I advise you to go with one or two strands depending on how you want your closure to look but at the front use one or two strands of hair and this is how it looks so I'm going to repeat the process that I did here on the other side I'm going to repeat it five lines at the front and 12 lines going upwards So this is what it looks like after doing this process on the two sides so remember leave one line or for your parting leave one line that you won't ventilate so it will be easy for you when you want to do your parting leave one line so right now i'm picking three strands of hair skipping two holes or you can just fill in where you see need some hair but this process is actually faster than the first one it's faster but i don't advise you to use this at the front because you want your closure to look as natural as possible so at the front use one or two strands and skipping a hole and at the back this at the back you can use three strands of hair and skipping two holes or just filling in where you see need some hair it depends on how you want your closure to look like if you want to be more fuller than this you can add more hair but three strands of hair is fine for the back so continue with this process uh, doing it on the space the space that we left behind when we were doing the first process you're going to do this picking strands of hair, three strands of hair and skipping two holes you're going to continue with this process So I'm going to do the same that I was doing on the other side, picking three strands of hair and skipping two holes. I'm going to do this on the other side, you know, just filling in where I see need some hair. But you can do three strands of hair and skipping two holes at the back. Continue picking three strands of hair and filling in the space. Continue picking three strands of hair, leaving two holes. Continue doing that until you finish your closure. Continue with the process. this is how my closure looked like after i'm done ventilating and i love it so when you're sewing the back you have to join your tracks with your closure the first line i'm going from my left side of the closure going down was uh doing right round uh on my wig cap and joining it on the other side of my closure and going back to join it again with the other side of my closure and after doing that that's when i will start doing my tracks downward going side to side side to side side to side until i reach the top
so after sewing side to side this is how my wig look like this is how it look like and i'm going to sew my checks side to side starting from the back until i reach the top and i'm doing the flip back method i'm not cutting my weft i'm just doing the flip back method i'm not cutting my bundles i'm just sewing and flipping it back sewing the other side coming back flipping it back to sew i'm not cutting it When you are done sewing the back, you sew your tracks joining them with the closure. When you are at the top, you sew your tracks joining them with your closure. Joining them with your closure. And when you reach the top, the last, the last track you do, you should join it right round the closure. Join it. And I'll continue doing the flip method. I'm not cutting my bundles. I'm just continuing sewing it, flipping it when I do the other side, flipping it, sewing it back. I'm not cutting my bundles. Make sure you join your tracks with your closure. Make sure you join them when you're sewing. Join them with your closure. And sew your tracks closer to each other. Don't leave a bigger gap. Sew them closer to each other. Sew them closer to each other. Don't leave a bigger gap when you're sewing your tracks. And continue using thread so that your tracks will lay flat. Do not use wool. Use thread and your, your tracks will lay flat because on the top obviously we want them to lay flat we don't want bumps and bumps <laughs> it will not look nice so we want our wig to look flat not bumpy Sew your last track, join it with your closure. Sew it, joining it with your closure. Sew them together, joining it with your closure.
and when you're done sewing make sure you tie your thread tie it i think three to four times tie it then cut off the remaining hair bundle that is left there cut it off then you start styling your wig you start styling it after you're done sewing and this is how your closure should look like when you're done sewing this is how you should look like and open you do remember that one line we said we should leave that's where you open your parting it will be easy and cut off the remaining less on the front cut it off And right there I was picking out some baby hair I was picking out some baby yeah you know for it to look nice and then I'm cutting it at the front like an inch I'm leaving an inch of hair I'm cutting it off after doing that I will style my baby hair according to how I want it to look and spray some water on your whip and finger comb it finger comb it spraying some water and I've tried on my wig right there I'm putting mousse to activate the curls I'm putting mousse to activate the curls it's an alpha wig but it has little curls in it so I'm activating the curls with my mousse it's an olive oil mousse that I've shown you uh, you know, in the video when it was starting I showed you the most and I'm using it to activate my curls and this is how it looks on me when I'm done yo I love it guys I love it so much <laughs> I love it like seriously I love afro wig and I love this so thank you so much for watching guys that's probably all for today and if you have learned something in this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please 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 kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell and next time i post a video you'll be notified kindly leave your thoughts in the comment section down below i will read all of them if you have any suggestions or something that i should change please do say i don't mind i need to i need i need to hear your thoughts and always remember you are beautiful in your own beautiful kind of way goodbye thank you